Okay, I'm sorry again. Something happened and it cut out again. I think I accidentally clicked it off when I did something with my volume on accident. So now I'm back. Like I said, it might be fake parts. I am very sorry for the inconvenience. Luckily, it's going to be on the playlist anyways, so you'll be able to watch it in order. So, uh, now since we're waiting, I think it's shout out time. So, shout out to my one friend, Jaden, who you can find as Garlic Bread Cho. Uh, he commented on my first video, so uh, you can just go and find him there and subscribe there. Anyways, so now we're just waiting on the noodles. Uh, I'm just gonna say thank you to everyone who's commented on my videos, let alone subscribed, and even who watches. And this should still be uh, submitted by like 12 a.m., I mean p.m. Saturday, sorry. What is it? The time's wrong. So, now that we're waiting, what should we do? Oh. We can always do other stuff, you know. So, I will be back very, very shortly. I'm sorry, I leave quite a bit, but I need to just make a quick back from break, and I'll be back. See you very soon. And goodbye for now. Uh, I guess I'll let you guys just do something interesting. Let's see. Before I go, though, this is a cool magnet I have. So I think that's pretty nice. Anyways, here, let me go again. So, I'll be back after another quick break. Goodbye for a little bit. Uh, here. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry for the wait, but I am back now. And the water is boiling. So, now, just for the ready. Let's react to get this. My favorite bowls. Now, we're doing this and my one take only thing that I can never do. Again, the same first time. I look for the unimportant. Okay. okay. It's our packet. Set this here. So you guys have something to look at. These are my favorite types of forks because they're not so big. I'll show you the stuff being made eventually, but well then let's keep going. Okay, the problem here is I can't do anything, but I can show you 
this. few seconds. I'm sorry, this is just me getting it right. You gotta blow on it sometimes, so do it. So, you know, just stir and other stuff. Anyways, while we're waiting, we're just gonna keep making my food. Hmm. See, the thing that makes me different than other people, what well, most other people, is I put an egg, and actually a friend told me about the egg. What really makes me different is because I put a special, special ingredient in mine. Anyways, let's get back to it. It really starts to bubble and that's not good. Let me see if I can get you guys. See, I just stir like normal. And then when I'm done stirring, I just set my thing right here. We're almost to the fun part, okay? Because I forgot to set a timer, so I'm just going to set a quick 1 minute and 30 second timer. I guess I got a little distracted. Okay, but you're a steak. But I've made these for a long time, so this was a really once in a lifetime steak, too. I said before, I'm sorry for uh, me having to go out for a little bit. I know this is going to be longer than most, but for everyone who actually watches everything, then thank you. Because this is going to be my favorite stuff here. Anyways, I got blown on the noodles again. The reason I keep blowing is so it doesn't overflow when that bubbles up. So, uh... Real quick, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might move you guys soon, but anyways. Okay, let's move you guys actually over here for a little bit. There, now you can see what I've been doing. Stop the overflow and matter. Plus, now you can actually watch me stir. I'll try to find a new camera angle that we put on that guys. Here we are. Okay. It's pretty much the same as the other one, just different. That's actually pretty good for this one, I would say, because you can see me just now, like I said, my timer's beeped. So, I guess we go on now. Okay. So, for this part, I know where exactly I'm going to move you guys. So, let's get to it. Okay, we can't see Lola, unlike what I planned. Okay, oh, Lola, treat. Honestly, I just think it's nice to get her treats. I love it. So, this one's just going to be kind of like a nice quick break for you guys. And there it is. Okay, good girl. Okay. Now this is my favorite part here. Okay, be ready everybody. I forgot to put the egg in. I am stupid. So I'm gonna re turn the water on for five seconds. Let it get the boil. Alright, that was a very, very amateur mistake. You know, we don't want to get any. Bad. So instead of boiling, I'm just going to set it in right now. And turn the water on. I'm sorry again for how loud these noises get, but I'll make sure my eggs are done properly. I think I'm just going to stay. The important part here is when this happens. Don't 
do this at home. They just never know now. So now there's going to be a really loud noise because I'm turning the guard dispose on so I can crush the egg. But it will turn off very shortly. I am sorry for anyone who's noise sensitive. You might want to mute the video right now. That should be good enough. Okay, my eggs are gone. Two. Now we're actually putting in that one. It worked. Okay, let's move. Okay, sorry about that. That got kind of hard for a second to do, but now I'm going back to this part here. And there we go. Okay. Oops, touch that with the bad egg ladder that didn't get cooked. So I have to switch my fork on an accident. But that's okay because I have another good one. This is actually my favorite, favorite fork as I can see I it. But let's go on to the real special ingredient now. They say cayenne pepper. My very own secret degree that I don't really keep a secret that much. People just don't really use it like I do. I'm sorry you can't see me putting in, like I said, it's amateur, but I'm not on the Food Network, so it's not really like I can do stuff easily. Oh, no, future plans and stuff. I might, if I can figure out how to do it, try gaming in the future, but that's a very big maybe. I'm actually going to show you how my stuff looks pre-made. I know. Pretty good, right? But when I stir it, it looks perfect. See, the thing about the kind of peppers, I also love, like, the red coloring it gives to my food. And so, actually, when I make chicken, possibly, in the future... I'll probably actually use this other seasoning that I use as a jar rub and it's a chicken rub that I got from uh, Pepper Palace. So if you guys uh, are looking for some good like hot foods and stuff like that and stuff to make your food spicier but also taste really good, go to Pepper Palace. You know, I'm honestly not sponsored or anything. I just really wanted to shout that place out because I love it that much made my cooking amazing okay well here's the first product of the, uh, of his channel name but if i can find it i will say another video but shout out to my best friend kaden who actually introduced me to the eggs anyways now that i've done that i will end the video but in the comments I will probably tell you guys just my review and stuff then. This will be released tomorrow, but I filmed it today on Friday, right when we got out for spring break. So, goodbye, and I hope you all have had a wonderful time watching my videos. Bye.